In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to do a slide. In guitar tabs, it'll look like this. So to use the A minor pentatonic scale as an example, I'm gonna do that fifth string. As you see on the tabs, it says fifth fret and then slide to the seventh fret on the fifth string. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna press my first finger down on that fifth string in the fifth fret, play it with my right hand, and then slide it over immediately. Play the fifth fret, slide. Play the fifth fret, slide. If you lift up your finger while you're doing it, it'll sound like this and it won't do anything, it'll just stop the note. You wanna make sure you're pressing down hard enough the whole way. Also, if you don't go fast enough, you might hear this. And you'll get that sixth note, the sixth fret note in between, which is also not what we want. So try pressing down hard, sliding it over to the fret. You can, we can practice on any fret, I'm just using you know, part of the A minor pentatonic scale as an example for fun. You can even do a different string, third string. If you're staying in the A minor pentatonic scale anyway, fifth fret to seventh fret. And you don't necessarily have to rush it. I know when I've taught a lot of my students in the past, a lot of them feel like they need to rush super fast to get to that, to make sure that note rings out. But you know what? You could even play it, let it ring for a second and then slide and it still carries that note. Of course, the note will fade as you go, and if you have an electric guitar, it will ring longer and louder if you have an amp, but I wanna tell you that so you, don't, so you know you don't have to rush it. You don't have to just go like, as a lot of my students would just do this. You know, and we get that sound because they're trying to rush too fast and they're not pressing down hard enough the whole way and really feeling like they need to rush. You really don't need to rush it. So as long as you don't really don't need to rush it as long as you're pressing down hard enough the whole way. So we can do the entire A minor pentatonic scale this way. You can alternate fingers if you want, because I know we, we're, we're in the fifth fret with the first finger the whole way on the first position, right? So we really could do the whole one like this. Or you can alternate fingers and you know, do your second finger. But either way, it's kind of fun to practice sliding, but you also can slide back down. You can slide from the higher note to the lower note inside. So when you go backwards, you can, you can even challenge yourself and slide with the pinky. Which is kind of fun to do as you practice. But for now, you know, until you get to that point, Use that first finger, it's the easiest one, or even the second finger. You don't have to stay in the A minor pentatonic scale when practicing. You can even go to the next fret over. You can do whatever you want, really, with the slide. You can even go like super high, super low, and just try that. You can just do whatever you wanna do. But as long as you're practicing and getting each finger used to going up, and maybe back down. Or you can just alternate fingers and do whatever you want as long as you practice that slide and are getting the notes out and practicing skipping over a fret or two when you do it.